Greetings! Revenge Creature here, and welcome to another toy review. Um, and uh, I promise it'll get better as time goes on. As time goes on. Anyway, um, so today we're going to be looking at uh, one of the new Walmart exclusive battle stations. Um, I found uh, there's four in the set. Um, the one I picked up yesterday was this one. The Cobra Heat Seek Missile System. And uh, we'll get into a, a more detailed review in a moment. Uh, they retail for $14.96. There's four vehicles, or four play sets in the sets. Battle stations, excuse me. And uh, that's just a rough picture. We'll get close up later on. But there's the Law, the Outpost Defender, the Cobra Surveillance Port, and this, the Heat Seek Missile System. Um, you get a battle station and two figures and accessories. Okay, here's a more in-depth look at the box. Um, window box. Um, action pose. Here's the back of the box. Um, shows the figures, the vehicle, has a little bio of it, and has all the action features listed. Here's, um, again, the um, picture of all the other battle stations. And then there's the <clears throat> art. Hasbro art, which is really cool, I think. It's photorealistic, I guess, but you know, still, it's pretty cool. And then the bottom um, has the file cards. Um, and let's see, here's what the toy looks like out of the box. So let's focus back on the missile system real quick. Um, it's the exact same uh, mold as the original Joe MMS, um, and then Hasbro used that in, um, I want to say, it was 85 maybe for both those exclusives. They had the Crimson Attack Tank, which is a repainted Mobat, and then they also had the uh, Crimson Hiss Tank that came with a missile launcher. Um, <clears throat> and uh, if you don't want to shell out the money for the original, well, here's your chance to kind of recreate it. You can use that, and if you picked up one of the uh, Ultimate Battle Packs from Target last year, last Christmas, the, well, you can kind of simulate that. Or if you really want to go old school, of course, you can get, I don't have the Crimson Hiss, but I do have this, which I think is kind of cooler because it's only been reissued once and they totally botched the paint job on that reissue, if you ask me. That was the KB exclusive from like 03 or whatever. Okay, so um, that's the Heat Seek Missile System. It's pretty bitchin'. Um, I really like it. Uh, here's the diorama part of the box. Uh, they started, you know, using the inside. You can take it out and make up your own scene. Let me just go through and show you how it breaks down for towing. Uh, one thing they did change, well, two things right off the bat. Uh, the control wire that goes from the control box to the actual launcher is a string now. It's like an actual thread uh, instead of being a plastic wire. It the They have a, um, like a tally of how many Joe vehicles they've shot down. It comes with three stickers that show the new Joe logo with an X through it. And those are the only real obvious changes that I can tell. Um, and uh, so let's break it down. You pull the control rod or stand out of the control box um, and then you flip up the front legs like that. Flip up the back legs. Let me move the missiles out of the way. Slide it in. Then I take the stand for the control box. You insert it yeah, I know. You insert it there. You take the control box with the handle facing forward, and you put it right in there in that little recess of the tow hook. And then you take your vehicle. Excuse me. You take your vehicle, and you hook it up right there. Swing your missiles around. And there you go. Now you're off to battle. Now the thing that uh, stinks about this is uh, the wheels don't even roll. I mean, they... Excuse me. They roll if you turn them. You know, let me fix that. Like, they'll turn, but they don't roll, you know, so that's kind of lame. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, one thing I did want to mention that I forgot was that these rockets fall off real easy, which is a problem I have with the original MMS, too. So um, I think it's definitely worth a pickup if you like it. Um, if you're on the fence, maybe you just want to buy the launcher by itself off eBay. I don't know if that'd be cheaper, but... Um, you know, the figures are kind of a letdown. Um, they could, I wish they'd just gone with some new figures or some better repaints. Um, so that's it. That's the review of the Heat Seek Missile System. Um, 
And uh, my next review, I'll just go ahead and throw up a teaser here, is going to be another Walmart battle station, which I picked up yesterday. The Covert Surveillance Port. I only bought one of those so far, so uh, get your, you know, I'll show you the picture and then I'll have to pause and uh, tear this thing out of the box and sticker it up. Anyway, well, thanks for watching once again. Uh, I'm Revenge Creature, uh, and I hope to see you again. Uh, there's a piece of lint falling right in front of my face. It's snowing! Oh!